Hey everyone, welcome back to the farm. I'm Jack and this is Dina. If you hadn't been here, we're so glad you're here. We're glad you clicked on this video. We're gonna try to get a little chore done today, moving some chickens. Take y'all out here and show y'all how Dina and I have set up our old chicken uh, coop and redone the run on the one we've been using. And we uh, got some chickens to put in it. So we're gonna bring y'all along with us. We're glad you're here. Yes, we are. Some of y'all may remember this was long and narrow, and Dina and I cleaned it up, put some chips in the floor, but actually just on the ground, and we put some new runs on the uh, walk up board to get the chickens in. Uh, we're getting pretty bad shape. So we had our big egg laying flock in here. And we redone their pen, moved them over here. So we just, we've got the uh, Premier One netting around them here. And I just, I just put a regular cyclone gate off the back of this old chicken house, which I had been using for a, uh, well, I originally cleaned it out and made a deer blind out of it. And then I was storing feed in it. But we cleaned that all out yesterday. And we uh, set it all up to be the chicken house again. So let's go in here and take a look at it. But with this cyclone gate, I can go in and out of the electric pen without having to shut it off. There's our big Rhode Island red rooster. And some of the Delaware hens and the chocolate orpington. She is so pretty. Big, big, big. Big well summer right there. That's our main flock right there. <laughs> I think there's one more Delaware somewhere. Then we've got to move these feed barrels still. I don't like them inside their pen. We've got their oyster shell right there in the pen and an outside feeder. And an inside feeder. And then we got all of these. This was all closed in. I had metal over that window and metal over this window and metal over that back vent just to keep the rain from blowing in on the feed that I was storing in here. So now we don't have feed in here. So we took that metal down, rebuilt or reconstructed the old nesting box it still doesn't look good but it's a good nesting box really they haven't used it yet and these are all the young birds here anyway they got a real nice big there's there's their roost bars but i think i'm gonna have to build some more right over there probably a little different than those anyway that is what's going on. Then we got their water up there, which water can be left outside. It's okay if it gets wet. You got the American breast up there with the chick shawl. It's a little behind the scenes action. I've got a live video working right here on these two week old American breast chicks, which is why we got to move them around because they need to come over to another pen, to the next pen. These guys need to go outside. That's these are the ones going in that root, uh, run we just improved, made wider, and cleaned up. And those American breasts are. I'll clean all this up. They're coming over here because we are going to have some more American breast chicks hatching out in about a week and a half, and so we need to shuffle. Get them all set up, the bigger brooder for the newer, the little bit older chicks, and put the younger chicks in that stock tank brooder. I like to keep a well. I don't have to do that. I can put the new American breast in this in this brooder. Just clean it up. I think I might do that. These birds are a little bit flighty. So I'm gonna get Dina in here now. And the plan is to catch them 
and put them in this pen here to transport them out to their new house. We will definitely be making more than one trip. It may take two or three. I know at least two, maybe three. We'll just have to see what happens. All right, so get the pen here and we got the cage we're putting them in right here. Can I move it? Yeah. Net just in case we need it. Oh, oh, oh. Well, these are the cream leg bars, and they get a little pop notch crested. I don't think they're full blood. They may not be full blood, but we got them really cheap. If we started with 22, we're going to count them. Because that one looks like an Americano this cream leg bar mix. I think we lost one, and we put one of the Americanos out here. Well, I know, but I thought we lost that Americano. Yeah. I thought we lost both of them out there in there. We may have. That's one. This one we know is a Cuckoo Moran cream leg bar mix. See, it's got the crested head. I don't know if I'll feel enough to show y'all. It's got a crested head there. But they're cute as they can be. And they should lay a lot darker egg. The cream leg bars can lay a green or a blue. Before. I think this one's a little rooster, but look how pretty this thing is. See how pretty that feathering is on this one? This is a beautiful bird. We got all the birds caught. My storage was full on the camera that I was using, so hey, I don't know how much I lost, but I was checking them. But they're in the pen and we're fixing to transport them. Excuse the mess in the shed. 22 birds. Move, Molly. Come on, girl. Molly's real inquisitive about the birds. Molly's Don't know if y'all saw her on the live, but she was on the bell there looking over into them baby chicks. She's probably licking her chops too. But she has eaten a live chicken before on accident when our chickens had gotten in the backyard. That was against our will, but that's the way it goes. Quick know. story about them eating those live chickens. Now, we were told that don't take the carcass out of the yard, just cover it in hot sauce. So we bought a gallon of Louisiana hot sauce and I poured it all over this chicks that they had killed they ate them anyhow let me tell you i must have cajun dogs because molly and harley at the time ate them right up with the hot sauce or no hot sauce didn't matter you know if they get where they're not supposed to be they're game and we don't let her do that intentionally that was pure accident but it happened and yes, she got in trouble, as she should have been. I, today, am trying to rake up piles of leaves and dead grass. And you can tell along that back fence, it sure needs done. But I cleaned off the back porch. Harley's buried there under the oak tree. And uh, I'm burning... The stuff that come off the back porch. All of that didn't. But anyway, there's an old rug I need to get rid of. But anyway, we did get the back porch somewhat set up. Not complete yet, but we're going to rearrange some stuff and get that taken care of. Oh, and there's Miss Butterfinger. She's saying hello. Come here, Butterfinger. Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, Molly, you're so jealous. Yes, you're so jealous. There she comes. She shut she got out of the camera. Back to Jack. 
All right, we're ready to roll. I just strapped it on so it didn't fall. All right, let me get the gate for you. If y'all didn't know, chickens make a lot of dust. <laughs> Thank you. Molly, you stay in the backyard. Oh, stay. We don't want to get no chickens. Hey, Molly, stay, girl. You keep Butterfinger company. Here she comes. She wants you to love on her. Keep her company. They're funny. Because if you look back over at them after a while, maybe I can catch them. They'll be sitting right next to each other. Butterfinger loves on Molly. Molly could care less about Butterfinger. But Molly is still grieving Harley's loss. And uh, she's, some days she has quite a time, you can tell. You and me getting there. Oh, you don't. You got it. Oh, they're going to love it out here. You showed them what you did here? Yeah. We're going to count them out, too, just in case we miscounted. One. Hello, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, we got it right, number 20 and number 21 is a beautiful little girl, she is pretty. pretty. She's light colored. Yep. She's got that mottled look on her. Let me get the, the crest. wagon out of here. She had a crest on her. That other one kind of looks close to her, too. The one that's like two north of her. Yeah. And then this one over here that's like three south looks like her, too. So I heard them say something about golden leg bars. I don't know if we got all cream leg bars. I don't know what they are. It's they're definitely a mixed breed. They're not. They're breed. not pure blood, but we got them for a good pie, like Jack had said. And we want blue eggs, and they should do blue or green eggs. And I want green eggs too. So I do think that's. I think it'll be wonderful. Oh, then got him some green. They haven't seen live plants before, so, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go get the feeder ready. Okay, I'm going to be right here in this video. Okay. They're going to need water, too. Y'all hear that rooster next door? There are some roosters in this batch, too. I think I see at least three, maybe four. Oh, 
We have American Breast Rooster going. Our Rhode Island Red Rooster. Cowboy seasoning. Because he is sporting some big spurs. And uh, then my little cream leg bar. He's kind of just discovering his crow. He um, sometimes has trouble getting his crow out. Sounds like an adolescent teenager. Oh, that one spotted a grasshopper. That would be a first because they have not seen grasshoppers. But they're sounding very happy out here. Kind of purring, if you would. You can tell too on the legs of some of these chickens. Some of them have a different color leg than the others. Some of them have like a yellow tint leg. Some of them have like a grayish tint leg. I know the cream leg bar, they have a more cream yellowish color leg. I don't know. And there is one here that has puppy cheeks. Oh, that's it, right? There. The one in the background there. Behind that front one. Right there. Behind it. It's tufted cheeks. That's actually that one of them pretty birds that Jack was talking about.
there's a rose comb. It's pretty. All right, so those chicks are no longer babies. So I've got starter feed in the bottom and I'm putting pellet, layer pellets in the top. Keep their way down until they're getting nothing but layer pellets. That's just a decent way to trans, uh, transform them from one transfer them from one type of food to another. You always give the normal. I bought these hats, rain hats, and they're too small to go around my feeders, so I put some legs that'll step down in the rain in the feed and hold holds it on and then I got weatherproof screws at the top. So now we can get them some food and water in there. Yeah, may not be the best shot on your camera. But I got the feed. The water might topple off. Well, that depends on your economy. If water was hard to get, it might not be. No, it does. So he moved the pallet in there. I didn't film that, but he moved the pallet in there. And then they have this rail bar that we put in for roosting and we lowered it so they can get pallet in here. They keep the wood chips out of the feet and water. Yes. And then hopefully they'll see their little ladder into their roost over there. And we've got sand underneath the roost so that they can dust bathe. Right, they are all set up. But they are living the life out here, y'all. They've never been outdoors before. Nope, I think they're going to love it. They sound happy. And they've not ever ate out of a round feeder like that either. Their feeder is usually the oblong feeder, but I think they'll find it and do fine. They're old enough to know what their food looks like. You put them in here and they automatically go to foraging for bugs and grass and green. So that's just, yeah. They're venturing out. Finding their water. They act like they're dying of thirst, but they had water clean each so. Got a cricket. That's that little America Americana looking at. Which one? The one with the tufted cheeks? To oh yeah, she's pretty. She's I think she's my favorite one. There's another one. I'm gonna name her he like Finley. Man. What are you naming her? Finn. 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 Oh, there's two of, three of them right that, there. That no. One, there's a little rooster with Americana jaws. Yeah. With the oh, they're down to feed. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, ten of them on that feed. And they had to be plugged on too. They, just, they, they, they were out. I left them out overnight. That is the last bit of chick starter they'll ever get.
Hey guys, join us tomorrow night, which would be Sunday. The 21st. July 21st, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for live. Yep, we'll be going live and we're gonna wrap this video up right here. Thank y'all for joining us if you're still with us. We really appreciate y'all. Y'all help us more than you know. Yes. If you hadn't already hit that uh, subscribe button, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and share it on your social media. That really helps us a, a bunch here on the farm so we can continue to make videos like this. So yep. God bless y'all and we will see you on the next video. Bye.